How many have seen the TV series CSI, Crime Scene Investigation? Now there's a new version of CSI, Cow Side Investigation. Today's CSI session is stalls and their dimensions. There are two very important parts that make up this freestall, the neck rail and the brisket locator. What is the purpose of the neck rail besides holding the stall together? A. Position the cow to lay straight in the stall. B. To keep the cow standing straight in the stall. C. To position the cow to stand up so that she defecates in the alley. Or D. None of the above. If you answered C, you are correct. When the cow rises, the neck rail is to position the cow so she backs up a couple inches to defecate in the alley and not in the stall. This keeps the stalls cleaner and also the cows cleaner. And what is the purpose of the brisket locator? A, to position the cow to lay down. Position the cow to stand straight up in the stall so she doesn't defecate in the alley. Position the cow to lay at an angle in the stall, or D, all of the above. If you've answered A, you are correct. It is to position the cow to lay straight in the stall, but not too far forward. If you look at this dairy, we see that there's a lot of rough and bruised top lines on these cows. We find there's over 33% of the cows perching in the stalls, which is two feet in and two feet in the alley. We made some spacers to raise the neck rails up from 42 inches to 50 inches, and perching went down to 20%. Then we removed the concrete and that 2 by 8 brisket boards, and we used the sand in the front of the stalls as our brisket locators to give the cows a few more inches of valuable space and perching went down to 2%. Milk production went up four pounds per cow as lameness decreased and the feet improved. What causes cows to lie diagonal in the stalls? Is it inadequate lunch space? Neck rails too far back from the curb? C, too short of resting space? Or D, A, and C. If you've answered D, wow. A, and C, you're correct. Inadequate lunge space and too short a resting space can cause diagonal lying in the stalls. What is the difference in the pictures on the top versus the pictures on the bottom in this slatted floor barn? If you look at the top, the cow's uh, knees and legs and hocks are nice and clean versus the cows on the bottom where the, there are skin and swollen hocks and the cows are much dirtier. The answer, this guy could not use sand in his slatted floors, so he decided to try the dual chamber water beds. As you can see by this picture here, there are a couple different uh, stalls that you see with dual chamber water beds, and you see the cows are laying down straight in the stalls, and the cows are clean with very little hock knee abrasion. So what do stalls mean, or what do we need for stall design? Dr. Nigel Cook presented stall design at the 2009 National Mastitis Council meeting. And again, if you look at these new dimensions, we see that we are now talking stalls that are 10 foot in length, and we are now talking 50 inches wide. Longer, wider stalls for our bigger cows to give them more freedom to get up and down. Speaking of freedom, here's a picture of Iowa State Dairy Barn, which has a 18-foot curb to curb. It is an Artex YK2 stall with a poly pillow as the brisket locator. How do the cows react when in these big, nice, open stalls? The cow can get up straight up and down in this video. It has the freedom to move without pain and injury. So make sure that your stalls provide these six freedoms. The success of the stall is measured in inches, not in feet. Provide six freedoms for your cows and always do what's best for the cow. Thank you.